So let's try Google Sheets. Um, this is relatively new to me. So I already put some data in here. And um, so I had a, a, I put in my masks, I put in volume. So this is based on doing a, a density measurements. And um, I didn't like that. Let me just uh, delete some of this. I didn't like that uh, because I, um, when we do our graphing, let me make sure I have this property. Okay, good. When we do our graphing, we want to, to plot our um, X column first or Y column next. Uh, so I wanted to plot uh, Y as uh, mass and X as volume. So I had to switch them around. So I have my um, uh, two columns in the form of X and Y. So I um, want to highlight the numbers that we're doing. Let me include the heading and see if that one's okay also. Um, then we want to insert chart. So here's a chart, insert chart. Let me just uh, drag it a little bit so it's not covering the data. Hey, let me drag, drag, drag. Where's the end? There it goes. Okay. Okay, so I have a scatter graph. We are showing the data points. That's what we like to do. We want a trend line. Um, okay, because I highlighted the uh, headers up here, it put the headers already in for our axis label. So that see there's some trouble there. So we want to do a trend line. So we're going to come over here and we're going to let's try customize and then series. Under series we can click on the trend line. Go download or for label we want to use equation. So it gives our equation up here. Gives an option of R squared. The formatting isn't great, but um, we'll put that R squared. And the R squared is right after the equation, so know that they are separate. So right here, our equation is mass equals 1.42 times volume, which is X, plus 3.96 as the intercept. So that R squared, so it's not extremely linear here, 0.777. The closer this R squared is to one, uh, the more linear it is. So we see, take it off. So this is our slope intercept equation. Uh, the R squared just goes up after it, but it uh, shows the linearity of it. So let me show um, uh, another way that we can get the slope and intercept. So we have slope and intercept, but if we wanted to use it in a calculation, we'd have to copy it by hand. So we can also get these separately. Let's see, insert function under function. Oops, oops, I have something in my way here. Move it. So under function, we look for statistical. Then I'm going to do slope, find slope. There it is slope and it tells me it wants y comma x so I go up here for y the mass metal so I highlight it click and drag until I highlight them all put in a comma now I want to highlight x the volume so click drag then just hit enter so it gives me a slope so 1.417 compared to 1.42. So it's the same number, uh, gives me more significant digits, but it's a number now in a cell where I can link to if I needed to use that. 
So we can do the same for intercept. We do our insert function statistical. Now we look for intercept. Intercept. Click on that. It tells we want uh, y first, comma, and then x. So we highlight our y, comma, we highlight our x, and hit enter. And there's our intercept 3.957 compared to the three point digits, but it's not in the cell, so we can refer to it for additional calculation. So we can do a line here, a graph. Uh, put a line on it, get the equation and the uh, correlation, R squared. Uh, we can also uh, get the slope and the intercept separately in a cell so we can do additional calculations with it. So that is our Google Sheets.